So now we'll quickly go through all the instruments that we usually use for a fast transfer procedure. If you come closer, there are usually three types of cannula. One is the infiltration cannula. The second one is the harvesting cannulas or the suction cannulas. And the third type are the injection cannulas. The injection cannulas are the thinnest. And the infiltration cannula usually has multiple holes at its tip through which the fluid is injected into the area from which we are going to harvest the fat and that is usually tumous or made taut then with the help of suction cannula so we have two if we see we have two types of cannulas these are the thinner ones and these are the thicker ones the thicker ones are usually used for larger procedures when huge amounts of fats are to be extracted and the thinner ones are when small fat transfer procedures are to be done so these are usually used for liposuction and these are usually used for small amounts of fats which is to be suctioned in a fat transfer procedures and these cannulas that we see are injection cannulas which have an opening in the end very thin blunt so they have a lure lock ending here and we, uh, all these and these ones also have inside the lure lock endings easily available through the various surgical uh, providers then what we have here is a lock for the syringe this is for the 50 cc syringe and this is for the 20 cc syringe which will help us create pressure while extracting the fat and these are the transfer uh, connectors which we attach to a clear lock syringe and then from one syringe to the other we can transfer the fat this stand is the decantation stand where we hang all the syringes which then helps us to separate the syringe contents into the fluid, the fat and the oil layer. We, as we saw we decanted the uh, fluid layer and now we have the oil layer and the fat layer left. We will use only the fat and not the oil. We are now decanting the uh, collected fat. We have kept it on a stand so that all the oil is collected downwards. And now we are discarding the oil and the fluid that is there in the lower this. We have this layer of fat. The upper layer is of oil. And this layer that we see is the fluid, which is the tumescent fluid that we use while collecting the fat. So now we have separated the fat and into 2 cc layer of syringes and we will now create point of entry which we anesthetize the points now we have created point of entry event we will inject the fat into it to the points of entry via blunt cannula so these are the 2 cc syringes which we have filled with fat and also mixed some PRP with it and this is the injection cannula that we see 